<laughs> oh man, that's funny stuff. Well, that's Vector again. Just telling you that uh, we're going to be using him. Uh, in fact, we're going to be using vectors to determine weight. Now, we're not going to get into my weight, so let's not talk about this. Considering I do weigh a little bit more than I did when I was your guy's age. All right, so what we're going to have is we're going to have to figure, or we have a force of 500 pounds. It's required to pull a boat and a trailer up a ramp inclined at 12 degrees from the horizontal. So what you're going to have is a ramp going up at 12 degrees right here. And we need to find the combined weight of the boat and the trailer. What? Well, what we are going to do is we're going to draw a little triangle. Um, now, if we need to figure out our weight. So your weight is measured with gravity going down. And you're also going to, what you're going to do is you're going to draw a triangle going out like so. This is going to be drawn with a 90 degree angle. So it's going to be perpendicular to your incline. This will be a 90 degree angle also. So what we've really done is we've really drawn two triangles that are very similar. In fact, they are called similar triangles. <laughs> Get it? All right. Well, if you don't, that's okay. Um, now, what we're going to have is we have, notice that this, um, this part of your triangle down here is also parallel with the incline of your ramp. So what we're going to do is we're going to say this is the distance, that, distance of the 500 pounds. And this vector is pointing down. Well, if we look at this triangle, or this 12 degrees here, since this triangle is similar to our purple triangle, that means this is going to be 12 degrees right here. So what we're really trying to find is going to be this distance this vertical distance that is the force of your weight because your weight is measured with your gravity pointing down. So keep in mind, draw a triangle here, draw your ramp, and you're going to draw a triangle, draw this line straight down, draw a line perpendicular to your ramp, and then draw another line that's parallel. And your force, you have 500 pounds that is going up this direction. So what you have is this little triangle. I'm going to redraw a purple triangle. Going up like so, down. So you have 500 over here. We have a 12 degrees down here. We're trying to find our hypotenuse. So if we set this up using um, Sokotoa, if 12 is our angle, then we have our opposite side and our hypotenuse. So that means we can set up the sine of theta is equal to our opposite over your hypotenuse. So our sine of theta, 12 degrees. Your opposite side is 500 over x. Well, when you solve this, if you do this by cross multiplying, basically what happens is your x and your sine of 12 degrees just swap spots. So you're going to get x is equal to 500 divided by your sine of 12 degrees. And when you plug that in, your force is going to be measured at 2,405 pounds. Good thing we're not talking about my weight. And there you go.